Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Peace, family. This is your brother, Mr. Holipsism. Originally, with this video, I intended to, you know, get a little scientific and describe some, um, you know, linguistic terminology like lingua franca and all this other stuff and just technically break down the argument um, about language that's coming from the conscious community. You know, these old antiquated talking points that people never really analyze and look at and just see that in a lot of ways they don't really make any sense. It's just intellectual masturbation. Like, the reason why I was going to do a video on this is because one of the dudes, one of these conscious community dudes on my YouTube page decided that he wanted to um, take the BAIO and the whole concept of nationhood to task because, well, what's going to be the official language in your new nation. And um, I said, English. Oh my God, English. See, that's what I'm talking about. Blah, blah, blah. So you guys ain't keeping it real. You ain't keeping it after. Blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something, man. This is why I didn't decide um, to really say anything scientific because this is all just a question of common sense something that's lacking in the so-called conscious community so I asked the dude what language are we speaking right now how are you communicating to me presently aren't you speaking in English so then why is English so offensive to you now I understand the whole concept see this is where the intellectual masturbation comes in I understand the whole concept of Okay, we were snatched from Africa, snatched from our original languages, and put over here in America. So we were forced, English was forced on us, yes, and English is the, the language that we have been speaking here in this country for all of these years. We didn't really, we maintained um, elements of African language within English. That's what the whole terms of Ebonics is about. Ebonics is not slang you know what I'm saying? It's not street slang. It's not ghetto talk. Ebonics is describing the condition of when you take an African um, native speaker, transport them into a Western um, English situation, and the dynamic that occurs when those two things mix. That's what Ebonics is, essentially. I don't know how I got twisted around to this other shit, but that's because people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But I mentioned all of that to say language is about communication. At the end of the day, if I'm speaking French and you speak in, you know, Mandarin Chinese, even though we can both speak both of those languages fluently, we're not understanding each other. So right now, currently, black African people in America speak English. Now, maybe over the course of time, once we develop the nation state and once we have all of these African diaspora communities within the nation state, we'll develop a new lingua franca. And a, a lingua franca basically means a language that's adopted as a common language between speakers whose native languages are different. And this is over the course of time. So the first question I want to ask is, do you intend to develop a lingua franca inside of America and then transport that over to your new African nation or your new nation. I won't say African because we know how offensive the term African is to Negroes. But is that what you want to do? You want to develop your lingua franca here in America and then transport it over to Africa. Then my second follow up question to that is, nigga, why you ain't do it yet? You've been here for 400 fucking years. 
How come you have not developed a lingua franca? Oh, wait a minute. There is a lingua franca in America. You know what it is? It's fucking English, dumbass. How long do you think it's going to take to develop a whole new language system or to learn an existing African language system for African Americans before we can actually have a nation? How many years are you talking? See, this is why I say, man, I'm more of a pragmatist than, than you know, these guys in a conscious community who really love to engage in intellectual bullshit. Where things sound great on paper, but then when you transport them over to reality, it don't make no fucking sense. The only way you're going to develop a new African nation with a new African language, you're going to have to keep African Americans out of the mix because we don't speak no other language but English. So my thing is, I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time. First of all, you can't develop a lingua franca for African people here in America. The lingua franca in America is English. So either way, if you want to develop that new language system, there's no way getting around you developing it on your own land. There's no way for you to do it other than that. So really, you should be on my side. I'm saying, listen, let's establish our land, our infrastructure, and our nationhood. Let's get these um, Africans here in America and Africans from the, diaspora, from the diaspora on a piece of land that they control. And language will be an organic process. You know, it's going to have to start off with English because we speak English. But it's going to be an organic process. Once you have all of these... This, basically, you're forming like a continental African society. There's going to be um, uh, a lingua franca that develops from all of those different um, takes on African language, you know. And then we can't even discount the African languages that's on the continent. And those brothers and sisters interacting and coming into our land and dealing with us and whatever. This is all going to be an organic process. It's not something that you got to sit down and force. It's going to happen organically and naturally. Once we establish our own land, develop our own infrastructure, and build our own nation. So I really don't think I need to go any further. It's just basic fucking common sense. And if you counter what I'm saying, then you're going to have to explain to me how long is it going to take for African-Americans to learn this new language before we start our nation? I want years, months, dates, weeks. How long is it going to take? And especially develop it and be fluent in it to the point where you can use it as a, a, a business language, where you actually do business and trade with that language. Please give me a time frame. I'll give you my time frame. My time frame is we need to start doing what we're doing right now immediately. Going over to the continent, surveying the land, building um, communication and friendships with the people over there, establishing ourselves with the governments, and get this ball rolling as soon as possible. These Negroes want to stall. And that's what all, all you're hearing from them. Is anything that will keep us off of the continent and keep us here in America for an extended amount of time. These are stalling tactics. We're not even having an ideological debate at this point. This is Negro stalling tactics to keep your ass right here in America and deal with this white man and this bullshit. Keep you as a second, third class citizen perpetually while we pontificate and, and muse over dumb shit. You know, in my perfect world, yeah, I wish that I could just magically snap my fingers and every African-American in America learns an African language. I wish I can do that. But the reality is, we're in America, we speak English. A lot of us don't have a second language. So I'm not going to sit back on the sidelines while a nation get developed without us being a part of it. Fuck that shit. African-Americans more than anybody need a piece of land and, and a piece of reality of their own. And, and if Africans from the diaspora need the same thing. You know what I'm saying? People that's displaced and scattered in other nations, they need the same thing. But since African Americans are going to make up the majority of that nation, I mean, just by, and it's not really because of any political um, 
um, shenanigans or trying to manipulate and move things so that that's the way it is. It's just an organic process. It's just an organic process. Organically, Africans in America are going to make up the majority of the people over on that land. And they're going to be people from the UK, people from Brazil, people from, maybe not Brazil, because Brazilians have their own, but you know what I'm saying, people from other countries who are not native to that country and who don't feel that that country represents them and want to have a piece of reality of land that's their own. You know, that's just the way it is. So unless somebody can give me um, a <clears throat> another time frame that's more in line with the sense of urgency that we need to move with at this point don't engage in any stalling tactics with us don't try to put out stuff that's going to make sure that we stay here for another 10 20 30 years we need to get this ball rolling and rolling as soon as possible and don't let these negroes stall you and that's all i got to say on this point i'll holler at you good people later peace